<laughs> it's a crisp winter evening in downtown Seattle. You're presented with the scary ordeal of walking past an obese drunkard as you maneuver your way back to your car. The cackling laughter he presents to show snide interest into your conversation. His equally drunk mother figure trying to corral him. You've come into contact with a wild only use me blade. Yet you are lucky enough to live to tell the tale. Blade is back, and this time we are graced with him being out of his childhood bedroom for once. His IRL streams where he's in public are infinitely better than the ones of him shouting the n-word from his bedroom. We will laugh, we will cry, but most importantly, we will almost get a DUI and have our phone stolen. Without further ado, I present to you, Sleepless in Seattle. It's a bar, what are you talking about? Sorry, I didn't know. What, what, I didn't, how would I know that? I told you. Okay. Mom and son are already getting pissed off. You can see their alternate universe selves walking past. An older couple, probably happy, enjoying an evening in the, in the big city. Flashback to these two, and you've got a toothless, decaying man-child being berated by a narcissistic, pill-headed child abandoner, and you've concocted a great Adult Swim midnight show. I don't understand why Beck continues to pretend like any of this annoys her. You continuously go back out and allow Brian to become Lit Romney. All this commotion just to be upset that he thought a business was open when it wasn't. Her rolling her eyes is probably how she has chosen to raise her kids. Just completely absent and degenerate. What's up? You guys making me famous. We are making you famous. It's right Dilbert! No, that guy's how did you know, man? <laughs> Hey, what's your Twitch stream? I'm not on Twitch. Uh, go on YouTube, only use me blade. What's your name? Only use me blade. How many people are watching right now? Uh, 12,000? That's not enough. If you I had know. more, I would say something really funny, because I got some stuff in my pocket, but... We've got off-brand Brick Crafts and Michael Rappaport coming in to ruin the live stream. Blade has this tendency to just engage with any random passerby that will acknowledge him. Rappaport looking guy said that 12,000 viewers were not enough for him to make a, jo a funny joke. Come on funny guy, tell us a joke. You got such a high threshold to say a meaningless joke. Figure it out dude. Mind you, there were only like 1200 people watching anyway, but that's besides the point. Beck and Blade are trying to find their car so they can go and get him some more alcohol. My man is legitimately taking a piss right onto someone's car in the wide open. I didn't even hear him pull his zipper down. Now I'm not going to be the moral police and act like I've never pissed in the street, but I will make excuses for myself because I am a degenerate. At least I did it on a college campus, which is already a cesspool, and avoided peeing on anyone's personal property. Blade is over here giving this guy some extra detailing at no extra cost. We should all be thankful that he didn't show his rotten pecker to the camera. Not that he can even really see it, but half the time, I can never trust this guy with his camera angles. Yes, camera. Frogger! 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 Figure it out. Frogger! Let's go. Frogger! Calm your down, dude. Just an amorphous fat slob wandering through traffic yelling out Frogger. This is the content that we are all looking for when we tune into Only Use Me Blade. Beck once again is showing just that she's going to allow her child to run around and torment the surrounding community. 
This is why they invented those child backpack leashes, so that you can get control of your disrespectful mutants, and don't let them get hit by a car. This is also emblematic of how self-centered and narcissistic these two are at all hours of the day. Brian is getting pissed off that a dude is honking at him for weaving through moving traffic. How much of an oblivious nonce can you be to make that comment? Okay, well then you're gonna have to chill for a little while. I want you to go out and like do some IRL while you wait for me to like sober up a little. You're good. No, I'm not good right now. Aw, oh, hell yeah, Beck. Let's go drive drunk and get high and get some more cigs. Come on, baby. As we will soon see, this is another example of why these two should be in jail. They don't care about anyone. Not their family, not the kids, and not you or me. So why should I care about them? I don't. They're my puppets for my own entertainment. I imagine the trolls have his location at all times. I just wish that someone would have called the cops on him. They both need an extreme wake-up call, not that they would listen to us. If anything, they'd say the trolls are the ones ruining their lives and take zero introspective interest. Their attitude is why this country sucks balls. So many only watch out for themselves. Alright, let's go to that. Oh, I don't have the keys in and whatever. Yeah, let's just go to that place and we'll figure it out. We'll just go to that place and figure it out. I'm not, I'm not going to that place right now. Why are you yelling at me? Because you keep telling me that. Stop. So? I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not taking that risk for myself. It's not a risk. We're just gonna go there. Bring that blade back in action again, everybody. It's no big deal to drive inebriated if it's only like ten minutes away. It's not going to be that big of a deal. He'd drive headfirst into a car full of orphans and feel no remorse for his actions. He's a decomposing drogger bloat lord that should honestly just be taken out back and handled with. Recently he's gotten what's coming to him a couple times with Beck cheating on him and the dude stealing his shoes, but we need more drastic actions. You can also hear the hormonal rage coming from Bexter. You're a deplorable person too. Why stop at driving drunk and harming yourself and others? Either be all in or all out. These two clowns are starting to get a little boring to me. Without these outlandish events, they don't really provide any other in entertainment interest. Then go right. No, it says right. And we're off, everybody. Let's take some odds on the likelihood of them reaching their destination. It's really a disappointment that t these people typically don't get the karma that they so obviously are begging for. But that tie may be turning. Anonymous donated three dollars. DUI hype in the chat boys, DUI hype in the chat boys, do hype in the chat boys, do hype in the chat boys, DUI 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 hype in the chat boys, do hype in the chat boys, DUI hype. You're not talking about you, they're talking about me, but I'm Blade has the IQ of an unplugged toaster at this point. No duh, they aren't talking about you mush for brains. You aren't the one driving, you're clearly in the passenger seat. Beck is still somewhat cognizant of the fact that she is the one liable, even though Brian would probably be arrested just for sheer stupidity. I'd love to see him interact with a cop. I swear that looks like we're getting pulled over. No, they're just passing, I had to follow these things. Beep boop boop. They weren't even behind us. Though. That was slap. Do you hear the beep boop boop? Yeah. <laughs> you can see the cop driving by on the opposite side of the road. Yet bald headed, no hand eye coordination, have an ass, cannot comprehend what is going on. The cop was so close to presenting the greatest stream clip of all time. I guess we will just have to wait this out for another opportunity on a different day. What's up, baby? Hey, baby. How are you? You okay? Huh? Right here, baby. Right there. He looks like the drug addict that is always asking for my change on the side of the interstate, calling me baby and trying to entice me. The fact that Beck can still look at him and get something out of the relationship is preposterous to me. 
Like, outside of her gaining weight, she isn't deteriorating at the same speed that Blade is. I don't know. I'm stupid. Well, I gotta find the woman that loves me and we'll figure it out. What up, dude? No, this is show girls. Show girls, yeah, show girls. We don't yeah. show girls. Go to show show girls. Get your camera out of here. Okay. What is he even doing? Dude is getting ready to just climb into a random person's car. He was this close to catching a cat from the dudes in that car. I have no idea what they are doing. They are parked at the parking lot entrance with all the dudes just standing outside around the car with the doors open. Somehow they attracted the human thumb himself and just stay aware. <laughs> These dudes tell him to get the F away from the inside of the car and then after this you can see them staring him down from the windows. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We're going! We're going! They retaliated against him so quickly. They came and snatched his phone right out of his hand. I'm not here to make commentary about the state of society. Ooh, I'm just like the Joker, we all live in a society. But nowadays, you have to have your head on a swivel when you are in urban areas. You're either going to get robbed or killed because people are just acting like animals out there. Blame is, Blade is prime real estate to just snatch anything you want off of him. It wouldn't surprise me if he wanders down the wrong alley someday and just takes a poking to his gut. If you know what I'm saying. You not like that? Now we've reached an interesting switcheroo here. I have no idea why they decided to just throw the phone out the window. I guess they probably wanted to just teach Blade a lesson without actually committing a serious crime. I'm not certain. I never claimed to be a genius. Maybe they saw that he was live streaming and started to bug out. I don't know. Either way, we have been presented with a classic Blade moment, and for that, I'm thankful. Mommy not looking so good there. But she was able to use her research skills to track down the long lost phone. Blade had lost all hope up to this point. I don't know why she is so pissed at him though. Like, your job is to keep track of our boy and make sure he doesn't act like a moron. You failed just like you failed your kids. Regardless, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Bye.